Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very nice 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door post. You don't see many Bel Air uh, trimmed post cars, but we're going to walk around and give you a good feel of this car. We know the history of this car. It is resting on a body off restoration that was completed in about 2006. Uh, it's for show actually at One Best Paint. This is a very nice little car. It's uh, very straight. It's the kind of car that you can drive. I mean, it's been extremely well preserved, but it's also been driven. It's been taken care of. We know, like I said, we know the history on this car. And we're going to kind of walk around and give you a feel for the car all the way around here. It's finished in a uh, uh, Chevy Seafoam Green and a GM 2000 Bright White. Kind of a nice vintage feel to it. The fit of the panels on this car is very nice. Um, the trim is also very nicely done. It's all restored. It's had all new glass installed in the car with a light green tint. You can see the catch the tint that fits really nice with the seafoam green. Again, you don't see many Bel Air uh, post cars, and this is one of those. And you'd figure I'd start the video. Here comes the semi. It's going to be zooming by me. It has 17 inch Foos Legend wheels on it with four wheel disc brakes. We're going to get quiet for a minute here in just a second as soon as this semi rolls by. I've restarted a couple times. I'm not going to restart now. Little tiny touch up right there on the nose. The fit of the panel and the doors are just exceptional. The grill and the chrome is extremely nice on the car. Chrome grill. Hiding underneath that hood right there is a GM ZZ4350. We'll have video and we'll cover that. It's very nicely detailed again. Again, a body off restoration on this car. The panels are nice and straight. It has a brand new round of rubber on it. 17 inch wheels, like I said, Foos Legend wheels. I think I got a little bit of a freeway going on here. Nobody going by and then all of a sudden a bunch of them go by. The fit here is really hard to get on these cars on the gaps or the seams, whatever you want to call them. It has rain gear wipers on it, so it has wipers. 700R4 automatic transmission, Ford 9 inch rear differential, all the stuff you'd want. And the air conditioning will actually freeze you out on a 110 degree day. We're going to come in here and we're going to open this door here. I like the uh, fingernail guards on the door here has a very nicely done cloth and uh, ultra leather interior that matches the car exceptionally well, matches the seafoam green. Door jam to door jam, this is a very nice little car. Again, the kind of car you can drive. I mean, it's been taken, well taken care of, but it's also been driven. Um, look at the dash there, it has a new updated clock in it that's working just fine. Uh, billet da dash insert there, seat belts in the front and the rear of the car right there hat doesn't go with it nice four speaker audio system even the dome lights got a little green to it there's an audio system underneath the seat here that uh, it's got a remote uh, that you can remote it operate it remote wise so the one in the dash is just a dummy um, kind of like me sometimes just a dummy anyway I'm just kidding like to have fun with my videos. I was looking for any little tiny marks on it. There is a little tiny touch up right, right here that's no big deal. Probably somebody with the garage door, you know, somebody opening their door next to your car, or some kind of thing like that. But the trim on this car is exceptionally nice and you gotta dig the, the glass in it. All new safety glass. And you can catch the green tint in it. Again, Bel Air trim on the side here. Body's not modified, so I would call this a very nice resto mod. Um, we'll step back and let you take a look. We're doing a couple cars out here. There's one in the background there. Give you a peek down the side of the car. It's a very straight little car. Tidy in the trunk. The trunk's finished off just like in the interior. If you hang on to the video, we definitely cover all that stuff. A pair of six, nine speakers in the back, so it does have the nice little audio system in it. About the time of day everybody's zooming by. Sweet 55 looks good. Nice dual exhaust. ZZ4 350. You can hear it when I uh, will let you uh, hear it run here in just a minute. Step back and let you take a feel of it here. This is a favorite spot for me to photo shoot things. Fuel door here. 
again this is just a nice little car locking gas cap factory fuel fill actually has a nice trim here I believe that was optional trim on these cars we cover the tire size for you at the uh, when we get to the undercarriage portion of the video here right now we're gonna take you inside the car kinda give you a feel boy I had my share of traffic popping over here this morning anyway the same thing the, the match on the two-tone and the uh, uh, ultra leather here is very nice the cloth is very nice this is a nice clean non smoker kind of car seat belts front and rear plenty of room in the back to haul grandkids or friends or ladies or gentlemen or whatever the case is again green dome light there nice cloth velour headliner has a Lacara steering wheel leather wrapped I do have a little cheat sheet here uh, auto meter billet gauge dash insert I think I probably got this one all in my brain with this car nice little tilt uh, uh, I did a tilt steering column here with billet knobs on it tachometer rain gear wipers headlights everything's working on the car nice under dash AC vents there still has a glove box even with the AC shuts nice the finish on the dash is just the nice as the outside of the car Factory vents where it's supposed to be, right there. We're going to fire this old girl up and let you hear her run. Again, this car runs cool as a cucumber. The AC will freeze you out even on a 110 degree day. Um, like I said, it has been driven and you'd never know it. There's the uh, speakers in the front kick panels there. This is a nice little low car shifter that's actually got an LED. You can see it says park right there and it'll actually go all the way through, but it's a 700 R4 automatic overdrive. Quarter tank on the gauge. Oil pressure is about 25. Water temperature is at 150 right now. 12 volts on the gauge. We're going to step out and let you hear it run, then we'll take it for a little spin here. Well, I wanted to show you one more thing. I told you it's been driven. You would never know it by looking at this car. Current uh, trip meter is 58.2. This car has 26,930 miles at the time of inspection. It'll probably have a couple more miles on it. Getting back to the house. Step out, let you listen to it. Very nicely done body off restoration type car. Listen to it run right there. Anyway, we're thinking it's time for you to get in. We'll put you behind the wheel. We'll take it down the road here. We'll share the under, under, underside of the car, the engine compartment, the trunk. Have a great day and make sure you go to Spud's Take a look under the hood. Man, this is a tidy little girl. What you're looking at is a uh, GM ZZ4. 350 V8, aluminum cylinder heads, it's got a full roller valve train, it's about 375 horsepower, very clean and nicely detailed, it has a custom radiator core support, for the life of me I can't think of the pe company that manufactures these, but the core support includes an aluminum radiator that's just huge, um, has dual electric cooling fans with a uh, uh, aluminum shroud on it so this thing just runs nice and cool no issues GM one wire alternator has four wheel disc brakes so it's got a power brake booster here it's got a 14 to 1 ratio steering box I believe I'll double check that if I'm wrong we'll have that fixed at Spud's garage um, it's a uh, aluminum steering box CPP power steering right there factory front suspension with uh, updated bushings that have uh, greasable zerks for the uh, upper control arm bushings right there nice little coolant recovery tank right here of course if you'd figure a big trucks gonna go by we'll let him go by here where I'm trying to talk ice it's Lake Havasu baby they need ice anyway um, just kind of giving you a feel here. Those are Sanderson short tube headers. They're very nice. Polished AC compressor, chrome water pump, chrome pulleys on it, polished intake manifold, air gap style. Has a brand new Edelbrock uh, uh, four barrel carburetor and uh, K&N style air filter assembly. 
Nice little billet recovery cap on the top there. Uh, I mean a billet uh, radiator cap. Even the uh, receiver dryer on the air conditioning is uh, uh, polished. Anyway, I'm thinking you get a good feel for underneath the hood here. This is a great running car. We'll fire it up so you can hear it and run it here in just a second. Um, again, ZZ4, 375 horse roughly. Um, again, bow tie hardware, chrome billet uh, or our polished billet uh, wire separators. Anyway, going to spend a little time here. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Talk to you soon. Hang on to the end of the video. We're going to take for a spin down the road, turn around and come back and uh, let you finish watching the rest of the video. But we're going to... Woo! Got to dig my job some days. I'm just going to flip a U here. You kind of get a feel. It says nice uh, ratio power steering. I'm going to flip a U here. Four wheel disc brakes. We'll take it back. Hopefully we don't get run over. Did that all one turn. Nice turning radius. There you go. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hey, let's on take a look at the, the trunk here. Just as nice as the inside of the car. Horizontal pleats. It's just very tidy and very clean little car. We know the history on this car. In fact, it's in that book right there. Here's the trophy when it was first built. Uh, it was the uh, Cool Times Fall Car Show in uh, November 12th of 2006. It won Best Paint. Um, there's a picture of the car while it was at the show, the Super Chevy Show. And the build book here is with the car. We'll have pictures of the, uh, of the build at spudsgarage.com. But everything you can think of, rain gear wipers. There's the operation manual on the rain gear wipers. Antenna installation for it, a steering wheel column. All that stuff is here in the book here. Steering box, auto meter, Helwig uh, stabilizer bar in the front. Easy wiring is what was put into the car. Very nicely done. The air conditioning, it has air conditioning too, and that's all in there. Anyway, this is all in the book. It's all included with the car. This little binder is included with the car. We're going to show you just a little bit more here. We're going to set this trophy down. There's a panel here that you pull out and it's got a gel battery in the back and nice little hidden storage area so nobody knows that uh, you got anything back there but it's also carpeted just like the rest of the car. You just put that back there. We're going to set everything back in the trunk here and kind of give you a good feel. Anyway, got my camera a little crooked there. Have a great day. Make sure you hang on to the end of the right, video. Let's take a cool. look at the undercarriage on this sweet 55. Very nicely done. This is a body off restoration. Again, we just showed you the trunk video. We cover everything with a uh, the photos of the build on it. It's got a Ford 9 inch differential with 411 Posi. 700 R4 automatic transmission. This car drives down the road just beautifully. Parallel leaf springs in the rear. Factory mounts there. It has brand new tires on it. I don't think I'm going to read the tire size on this side. Yeah, 255-45ZR17s in the rear. These are Foos wheels. They're just beautiful. I'll go around here and kind of give you a feel. So it has brand new rubber all the way around within the last <coughs> few months. Frame rails are powder coated silver. The floor pans are extremely nice. Very nicely done. A little body off restoration. Power steering, factory front suspension with a stabilizer bar. Again, the rockers are very nice there. Body off restoration. Uh, speed rated radial tires in the front are 225-45ZR17s. Again, they are brand new. Right there, give you a feel of the front suspension. Has updated upper control arms that are greasable. Instead of just rubber bushings. Four-wheel disc brakes, by the way, which I forgot to mention. So it's got all the stuff you'd want. Power steering, four-wheel disc brakes, power disc brakes. I'll give you a feel there. We're about at the end of the video. We really appreciate you coming. 
you're definitely on Spuds Garage YouTube. You could be on SpudsGarage.com where there's plenty of photos and this video. Anyway, we appreciate you visiting. Have a great day.